say glory. I tell you something, church. I walk into this sanctuary and look forward to hearing those glorious voices every Sunday. Sit down. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you, Reverend. But church, something has come up that has put that joy in jeopardy. <laughs> I've just discovered something very surprising. Three years ago, a second mortgage was taken out on this church from the first Monument Bank. There's been a balloon payment of $24,000 that is due by the end of this month. <laughs> now, I think you all know where I'm going with this. All I ask is that you dig deep and give any extra that you can. Because church sacrifice is good for the soul. It's also great for the mortgage. <laughs> Ushers. Excuse me, Reverend? Yes, too. Yo, I don't know what I would do without this church. You can keep my next week's salary. Yes. Bless your tea. There's moments like this that I actually wish I was paying you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just hope the rest of you can be as generous. Ms. Dixon, we finished our collections of the offering. It's $232.47. And a baseball card from Lil Hakeem with a spoon. Oh, God bless uh, his heart. <laughs> oh, wait, Pastor, you missed this check. Oh, could be for a lot. Nobody writes a check for a small amount. How much is it for? Everyone who's watching me thinks I'm writing a big fat check. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> well, they can't all be saints. Come in. Hey, Carol. Hi, Sister Dixon. All right. Hey, Percy. Hey. Sister Carol, you were certainly in fine voice today. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend. You know my husband, Percy? Oh, yes. Well, I don't get to see you in church that often. Well, I own a used car lot. Sunday's my big day, you understand. Well, of course. Sunday's my big day, too. <laughs> <laughs> so what can I do for you? Well, this Thursday is the 24th anniversary of my used car lot. Well, congratulations. I'd like to run something by you, Reverend. Do you think your choir is capable of doing a 24-hour gospel marathon? Well, I don't know. That sounds like a lot of singing. Well, if they can sing for 24 hours, nonstop, I'll give the church $1,000 for each of those hours. But if you can't finish, you get nothing. I think we can accept that challenge. And I'll have it broadcast on local cable. And all you have to do is just drop in a few choice remarks about Percy Shepard's used car mall. Naturally, you have to feature some solos by my lovely wife. Naturally. Well, this sounds like an opportunity. I'll be a fool not to. Well, you know, I'm sure that the Reverend appreciates your offer, but he's going to need a little time to think about it. Could you? I get that a lot from first-time buyers. I'm sure you do, honey. <laughs> Could you just step outside just for a minute? Okay? No problem. Thank you. Ms. Dixon, what are you doing? He's the answer to our problem. Have you lost your mind doing used car commercials in the church? Ms. Dixon, wait a minute. Now, aren't you the one that's telling me I should always be more practical, more business-minded? I'm sorry, Reverend, but something about this just doesn't smell right. Well, this is going to help save this church. God will help save this church. I think God already has by sending us Percy Shepard. Okay. Well, I want no part of it. You do this, you do it alone. The Reverend will see you now, Carol. Thank you. And you too, Percy. <laughs> Brother and Sister Shepherd, I believe that we have a deal. <laughs> I'd love to hear those words. Well, why don't we um, get started? We don't have a lot of time. We can find some other choir members. Oh, uh, you two go ahead. I, I, I need to get the wheels in motion for the cable setup. Do you mind if I use your phone, Reverend? 
Take all the time you need. Thank you. Carol? Wanda, this is Percy. You and I are finally going to be able to spend that birthday together just like I promised. I figured out a way to keep my wife busy for 24 hours. Yeah, I can't wait either, sugar lips. One minute to air, everybody. Coffee, Reverend? No, thanks. Reverend, it is going to be a long night. No, Benita, I'm allergic to coffee, all right? Now, one cup and... Well, you don't even want to know. <laughs> Here we go. In five, four, three, two... Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Church of Life's 24-hour Gospel Marathon! <laughs> Sponsored by Percy Shepherd's Used Car Mall, where you can find the fun in all of the cue cars upside down. No, it's not. I can read it fine. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, you are really in for a treat as the Church of Life Gospel Choir sings, Trust God. Why don't you trust God? Why don't you trust Him? You can always depend on Him. And stay tuned, because we'll be doing it for another... <laughs> 23 hours and 56 minutes. just joining us, welcome to the Church of Life's 24-hour Gospel Marathon! We only have 18 hours left to go, but before we do continue, let's hear from our sponsor, Percy Shepherds, Use All the Mall. Thank you, T, and thank you, Cassie. <laughs> and now for our next selection, Love Lifted Me, featuring Carol Shepard. And remember, choir, we're on citywide television, and everybody's watching. 
So let's show them how much talent we really got. We're gonna try that one more time. But this time, we're gonna glorify him. Come on. you bring this great big old suitcase when the only thing in here is this negligee this isn't for what i am bringing <laughs> it's for what i am taking you see hotels like for you to take a few things so that when you go home you can remember where you've been <laughs> now i can wrap those glasses mm -hmm. and this <laughs> Why don't we just put that down and you wrap yourself in this? Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You've got to give me a minute to get ready. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. I know. Look what I found. <laughs> Shampoo, conditioner, soap, a shower cap, bath gel, a sewing kit, a shoe kit. Ooh, they got towels and ooh, wait, a bath mat too. Uh, <laughs> Reverend, are you okay? Why'd I ever agree to do this? Because the church needs the money. It's 2 o'clock a.m. It's three hours past my bedtime. Last time I was up this early, my mother was giving me a bottle. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. Here, have some coffee. No! No, no coffee. Reverend Randolph. Oh, Lord, I'm so tired. I'm dreaming about Shaka Khan. I'm not dreaming. She's here. I was just watching your gospel marathon on TV. And you know, when I was a little girl, I used to come to this church with my grandmother. Mm hmm And one Sunday, I took $5 from the collection basket. You don't say. So, I was thinking it might be a good way to repay the church by singing in your gospel marathon. You know, I have an idea. How about you pay the church back by singing in the marathon? She said that. Huh? She said that. <laughs> Thank you, Shaka. <laughs> Wanda, what, what, what are you doing? I can't find it. I can't find it. What? My magic fingers. I told you what I wanted. Where are my magic fingers? Wanda, this is a first-class hotel. $250 rooms don't have magic fingers. 
whatever. <laughs> I stayed in a motel for 39, 35 a night, and they had magic fingers. You know what, Percy? You think you're such a smart little businessman. Well, guess what? You got cheated. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Have all of these quarters. What am I supposed to do with them now? Well, I'll tell you what. Hmm? You want magic fingers? Yes. I'll give you magic fingers. Faster. Faster. Welcome back to the Church of Life 24-hour gospel marathon. We have a real treat for you. Miss Shaka. <laughs> I need some coffee. Now, you said never, ever give you coffee. I know what I said, Vanita, but I'm never going to make it without coffee. Okay. Here. Thank you. So how do you feel now? Punch him now, woman, and pour! 